Hey, good morning. Uh, I'm going to read out of Luke chapter 9, verses 18 through 20 today. It says, one day Jesus left the crowds to pray alone. Only his disciples were with him, and he asked them, who do people say I am? Well, they replied, some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, and others say you're one of the ancient, other ancient prophets that are risen from the dead. Then he asked them, but who do you say I am? Peter replied, you are the Messiah sent from God. Now, this passage contains one of the Bible's most important questions. In these verses, there are actually two questions that are posed by Jesus. Now, one does not mean nearly as much as the other does. You know, the first question he asks is, who do people say I am? The disciples think for a moment before responding with John the Baptist, who had previously been killed. Elijah, who scripture says was not killed, but was taken away into heaven. Or one of the ancient prophets risen from the dead, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. The answers seem ludicrous, really. But we shouldn't be too surprised that people come up with some ridiculous ideas about Jesus. People have believed ridiculous ideas about Jesus for centuries. Today's no different. Just do a quick Google search to see some of the wacko notions people have. No, this is definitely not the most important question. The second question is more important by far. But who do you say I am? This question hits at the very heart of what it is to be a Christian. For my eternal future, it is irrelevant what others say about Jesus. I won't spend eternity in heaven because of who grandma says Jesus is. Jesus has a question for you. It is one of the most important questions in all of the Bible. He wants to know who do you say I am? Pray with me. Lord, I know that I shouldn't worry so much about what others say about you or about being a Christian or about the church body of Christ. Far too often I allow other people's opinions to influence me. And I realize that people have some pretty ridiculous ideas of who you are. But help me to stay firm and true to your word in answering one of the most important questions I will ever have to consider. Who do you say I, Jesus, am? Lord, I know who you are. You are the Savior, the Messiah, sent to die on the cross to pay for my sins in whom I have placed my faith and trust and will spend all eternity with. That's who you are to me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.
Okay, friends, hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you again tomorrow.